uh, we've, we've got a house that's kind of off in the middle of nowhere, that's completely off the grid. Uh, one of our goals was to try and build a house that was uh, completely interesting from a design standpoint, from an architectural point, uh, but was also completely linked to the environment around it. So we are uh, getting all our electricity from the sun, we're getting all our water from rain, uh, we're heating the building uh, entirely with solar heat. I think this house is, is a very good kind of assimilation between very high tech and very low tech, which was something that the owners were also interested in. entry to the house. Uh, we were kind of picking up on some North African design cues when we designed the house. A uh, good tie into the climate and to the history of this area. This is the wood stove over here which is really the only source of heat other than the paths of solar in the house. In the summertime this tower also acts as a heat chimney. So it's a tall, it's about a 25 foot tall tower with a, a 4 by 4 skylight at the top. The, uh, the wood for the stairs is all Douglas fir which we've hit with a wire brush to raise the grain a little bit. It provides a little bit of texture when you're walking up and down the stairs in bare feet or socks. Standard bathroom here with all your basic luxuries, nice sink, another concrete countertop, uh, standard flush toilet, which is going out to a septic system. Uh, the, the power's coming in from the panels. It's going, it's going through here and charging up the batteries. Then we've got DC power that's coming out of the batteries, um, similar to, to what would be coming out of your car battery. And what the inverter does is that uh, converts it from DC power into AC power, which is what all your appliances are running on. This pressure tank allows us to have just standard water pressure like you would have in any other house in town. So when you're taking a shower, you don't know the difference whether you're out in the middle of nowhere or whether you're connected to the grid. To, uh, to, to run electricity out here would have cost far more than the thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars which is the total cost of what our photovoltaic system ran. I, I think that this is really kind of coming to the forefront a little bit more. There's uh, especially the last couple of years with all the attention that's being drawn on the Middle East and war over there and all the killing that's going on for oil. Uh, I think people are starting to realize that maybe we should start pursuing other options a little bit harder.